See, what do you do when you finish drinking out of a plastic bottle? You generally throw it. And uh, when you throw it, it lasts maybe a thousand years in the garbage. Which means that if you keep throwing bottles, they will keep collecting for a thousand years and more. Imagine the amount of bottles there will be. Now think of another scenario. There are many places around the world where uh, floods happen every year. Every year, and these are places like Bangladesh for example. Every year they build these temporary houses and every year the flood water comes and takes it all away. Now, one side we have these bottles, which if you put it in water, if you tie, tie the bottle up tight and you put it in water, it will float. So if you collect all these bottles and build the houses on top of them, so then every year when the floods come, the houses will rise. And if you anchor it to the ground, they won't go anywhere. When the flood water goes, the houses come down. And uh, that's an idea that we wanted to work with. And if you scale up this idea, this is what you get. We have associated ourselves with this group called ASAP Islands since the last uh, four years. What we do is we build islands totally out of waste. Uh, recycled material which we can collect and depending on the area and depending on what materials we collect, we uh, put it together, make a structure and build islands. So the first project was, uh, it, it was, it was done with the School of Architecture in Goa and together for one week we built a catamaran. In this project we had uh, used bottles and bottles stuffed into tyres because tyres help give the strength and the bottle will give you flotation. The second year we thought okay let's do something different then it was again a collaborative thing where we kept it open and there were many uh, people from all around the world who had come to Goa and uh, worked with us. We used plastic bottles, stuffed them into bags and that is the kind of construction that we had used for the second one. In the third project, we tried a modular system. What we did is, we took wooden pallets, we took one pallet on top, one pallet in the middle and put a lot of bottles inside and we packed those pallets. And that became our floating module. So uh, using this single module, then we uh, put together maybe 14 or 16 or 20 such modules and we built a larger island. And this time, this was more like an island which is modular, it can grow and keep. you can keep adding things. In this project, we went one step further, we created a compost toilet, again out of recycled material. We took a drum, cut it and made a very nice uh, toilet uh, system with that. We also created a vertical axis windmill. We took a washing machine, took it apart and used the washing machine parts and within three days we created this windmill which could give electricity enough to power maybe some lights and uh, uh, laptop. This year we thought let's do it different, let's get out of Goa first of all. So I contacted NID and uh, they were happy to associate uh, with us on this project. So what we did is we worked together with a group of furniture design students as well as uh, exhibition design students. So there were around 30-35 students in all. We wanted to try out some new materials this time. So we went around Ahmedabad trying to figure out what is the material that is available which is recycled. There's a lot of factories there, a lot of industry, so there were a lot of these big drums that were available and apparently the drums are actually the best thing to float because each drum can take maybe uh, the load of two or three people. Uh, the module was uh, two drums and uh, two pallets. So the drums were placed in one direction and the pallets were placed in, placed in the other crisscross direction and then they were tied. So this became our single module this time. And with this we connected all these modules and we tried out different layouts so the students were um, we asked them to come up with different ideas for layouts and all that. Only the structure is something that we made sure that we were handling ourselves so that uh, there is no mishaps. But uh, in terms of design and layouts and all, we let them experiment. From NID to the river was almost a kilometer. So we had to make sure that uh, whatever we make can be again taken apart and disassembled and assembled back on the river. So we made, we took all these modules and with these uh, single modules we made uh, a, a whole large surface which, which we could break up into three parts. And, uh, and then when, when the came, time came to transport it, all these three parts, it was really big so it couldn't fit in a truck and it was difficult for people to carry it. So we were wondering what, to, what transport to use and in Ahmedabad you still have these camel carts with the flag, flat back trailers. So we put our uh, 
the, the larger module on these and assisted from the sides whatever was dangling out and we took it to the river. And once we uh, took it to the river, on the river side we started assembling it. There was a whole load of people who were very inquisitive obviously, what is happening, all this trash that is collected and we are making something out of it. So they also wanted to help. So we had lots of people, suddenly from some 20 people, we were around 60 people trying to help and then everybody helped us haul this thing up and put it across, uh, across the railing into the river. And after that, then we went into the river, assembled it uh, in place. The next day, we opened it to public and uh, everybody was asking why, what is this and why is this. And that's when I realized that when people talk about uh, recycling uh, and those kind of concepts, they always remain as concepts and re they remain alien. But when you talk about recycling on a floating island that is made out of recyclable material, the response was very different and you know that this image and this experience is going to last throughout their lives. So this was a fun project again, so fourth in our line of floating island projects. One thing is recycling and the other very important thing that is close to my heart is trying to help these communities uh, which have this flooding problem every year. See, we can't be presumptuous and think that we can give them a solution. What we are trying to do is give them an approach to a solution and hopefully everybody builds floating islands wherever they need them and that will be something that we like.